everyone. Uh -huh. Greetings everyone, today we'll be crafting a basket for our chicken. I've received enthusiastic responses from various Facebook groups and I appreciate your interest. To get started, you'll need a 3, 5 and crochet hook, jew rope, and a pair of scissors. I personally obtained the jew rope from the Dollar Tree. You'll soon understand why we require the scissors. Let's begin the creative process. Create a magic ring, secure it with a slip stitch, and proceed to make 6 single crochet. 1 2 3 Don't forget to cut off the excess jute. And we're ready to move forward. Now crochet 3 4 5 and 6 Tighten the starting tail and we'll continue crocheting in rounds like this. Moving on to the second round, perform 6 increases by making 2 single crochet in each stitch. It might be a bit challenging, but take your time, cut off the excess if needed. While the Dollarama jute rope may not be perfect, we can still work with it. Now, let's continue with the 6 increases. It might seem a bit tricky, but don't worry the basket should have a rustic look. Two stitches left. And there we go, the last one is complete. Utilize the beginning tail end as a stitch marker. For the third round, make one single crochet, then one increase. One simple crochet and another increase. Proceed to the end of the round repeating single crochet and increase. By the end of this round we should have a total of 18 simple crochet. Continue until you reach the stitch marker, 2 stitches more. Make a simple crochet and into the last stitch of the round. Perform an increase, check the fit with your chicken if it seems too small. We'll need to add one more round, adjusting the basket to your chicken size. Perform two simple crochet followed by one increase. Repeat this sequence six times around until you reach the end of the round. See you at the completion of the round. The general rule to create a perfect circle is to make six increases for each round and add six more simple crochet in each subsequent round. Only two rounds left, let's see what to do next, okay. Identifying the right side and wrong side. Yes, it's the perfect size now. Let's make a slip stitch to the next stitch and create five chains.
We're creating the sides of the baskets. Okay, let's count three stitches and make a double crochet into the third stitch. Yes, we create an arch. In the previous round, we had 24 stitches. Divide it by three and we get eight. So in this round, we make eight arches. Now make two chains, skip two stitches and make one double crochet. Repeating this pattern until the end of the round. See you at the end of this round. Let's complete the last arch together. Make two chains and slip stitch into the third chain of the initial five chains we made at the beginning of this round. Now let's proceed with the last round. We will crochet into the arches and create three single crochet in each of them. Now I'll demonstrate how to introduce a new piece of yarn. We follow the same process as we would for any other material. We crochet half of the stitches with the previous yarn and the remaining part will be crocheted with the new yarn. After that, we'll place the ends along our work and crochet them inside our stitches. We'll crochet them into at least four or five simple crochet stitches. Now we can knot the ends and hide them inside the stitches. Let's continue crocheting three simple crochet into each arch. If the beginning end disturbs you, you can weave it in now or whenever you find it more convenient. Use the same hook to pull the tail through 4-5 stitches to secure it, and then cut it off. Let's continue and complete this round. Make three simple crochet into the remaining arches. See you at the last one. Make the last three simple crochet in our project. Slip stitch to complete the round. Pull the jute rope, cut off and weave in the tail end. Let's see what we did. This is what we wanted to create, and it's perfect. You can make it for your chicken, an egg, or any small object you like. Let me know what you'll use it for. If you want the chicken I made, I have the pattern available on Etsy. All the links are in the info box. Thank you, and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like. Bye-bye.